Hey everyone, figured it was time to post an update on the backyard project and how things are moving along. Uh, starting to come up with a process and a system as to how this is all going to work. Spent the last couple of weeks now doing a little bit of building, more than running of the toys. And uh, created my new dump off zone and processing area, which uh, it's turned out pretty good. It's nice how now the dump truck will be able to dump the loads into that slot. The loader will be able to grab the material, drive it up this ramp, bring it up to the top and either stockpile it or we'll be able to run it through the screener which I'll be building next. These sticks here are just to kind of get an idea of where and how it's all going to fit. This, the larger core stuff that comes off the screen will drop into a pile or directly into a dump truck depending on how and what I'm up to. I was thinking the dozer up on top of this pile to push the material to the excavator that will be parked right by the edge of the berm there. And the clean material will sit over there. I'll be able to there again off of the conveyor the clean stuff will pile and I'll be able to grab it with the loader and bring it over to the stockpile there and can then be loaded into the truck and hauled off to fix roads and whatever I want to do with the material. So it's been a while since I videotaped the pit. Now have it 90% all fenced in. This has been my main access down in for the, since the beginning. But I now managed to dig out and create another entrance point at the other end, so it's kind of nice. I can drive in from one end, get loaded, and head up out the other end. Considering the hole that started here, the natural hole that was in the backyard here, it was no more than a foot wide and not as long as it is now. No cheating in here. This has all been dug by the excavator. The only cheating I've done has been to move the, the large amounts of material away from here, the, the piles. It's getting deep. Bigger. Oh yes, and then last weekend I started building this. Just today, I'm, I just cut and painted the uh, pieces to cap off the fronts. These are some pallets that I cut up and then using thin plywood to cover it up. Give it a paint job and voila, loading dock. Turns out these pallets, which are five and a half inch thick, is the exact perfect height. It all works out where the Tamiya flat deck trailer height is pretty much bang on with the this loading dock. It may be oof, a sixteenth of an inch higher, which isn't bad. I like the fact the trailer ends up sitting a little higher than the deck. Or dock, sorry. Yeah, so the work continues. Having fun. Oh, that's I think next weekend we'll try and get to that. That's going to be the next loading dock area. This one will have three stalls and a cargo area. But good things in moderation, right? Hope you like it. I'm having a blast. Thanks for looking.